Is this thing on? Okay, it's on. What's going on, guys? Jake's TV here. I hope you guys had a great Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. And guys, I have three surprises for you. And I also have some bad news. I think I'll save the bad news for last. Then I want to tell you about a bad dream I had. So, here goes nothing. So, the three surprises I want to tell you guys. The first surprise, I decided to put a My Little Pony movie on my channel. But I'll probably not do it until mm, either May or April. Like, when the weather is warm. I haven't decided yet. Because in April, that's when spring starts. And May, that's when summer starts. And the snow goes away and... Yeah, I cannot wait till summer, guys. I can't wait to go outside and get dirty. Just because I'm 19 doesn't mean I don't... I still don't... I'm not going to stop getting dirty, guys. You're never too old to get dirty. Just like you're never too old to trick-or-treat on Halloween. I know you've never heard of that, but... Yeah. I still like getting dirty, guys. Anyway, the second surprise, I ordered a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic toy, which I'm going to review. Now, I didn't order it from eBay. I ordered it from Amazon. And luckily, it has fast shipping. So it will either come... Friday or Saturday. Or maybe sometime next week. I don't know. But Amazon... Yeah, it's... It's fast shipping. But My Little Pony toy? Yeah, it's fast shipping. So... It'll probably come tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday. But, yeah. And this is my gift to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fans. And now that I'm a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Pony Life fan. Yes, guys, I love My Little Pony. So please don't judge and no mean comments on my community page, please. Anyway, the third and final surprise, guys. I plan on putting Scooby-Doo on my channel. Or bringing back Scooby-Doo on my channel. In fact, I'm going to reboot Scooby-Doo on my channel. With a Scooby-Doo Where Are You My Version series. Now, guys, if you remember on my old YouTube channel, Jake's TV, I used to do Scooby-Doo movies. But I don't watch them anymore because they're garbage. And I plan on doing a Scooby-Doo movie to reboot Scooby-Doo, my version. A movie called Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Scooby-Doo's very first mystery. I know that Scooby-Doo was rebooted like a couple times. I mean, because Scooby-Doo is very old. And, uh, yeah. Scooby-Doo is a very old show, guys. It's been around since 1969. And that was way before I was born. Nineteen sixty-nine. That was like 
years ago. Wow. So, I plan on bringing back Scooby-Doo on my channel, but it will be rebooted. So, leave a like and a comment on my community page, guys. And I will make a post on my community page. So, no mean comments, please. Now, for the bad news, guys. The bad news is, guys, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is canceled again. And I'm very frustrated. Not only did I sleep in, but I had some family stuff that happened. Which I'm not going to tell you about my family stuff, because I'm going to keep that private. But, let's just say... My family was around, and I can't do Mickey Mouse Clubhouse when they're around. Because I don't want them asking who am I talking to, or... Yeah. I don't want them to think that I'm talking to myself. So, yeah. Guys... Hopefully, either tomorrow or Friday, I'll be able to do Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Or maybe Saturday or Sunday. So, please, please, leave a like and a comment. Hopefully, I can. I'm sorry if I disappointed you guys, but I will do Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Sometime when I get the chance. Don't worry, guys. I will do Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And I will also do Go Diego Go. Anyway, guys, now that I've told you about the three surprises and the bad news, I want to tell you about the bad dream I had. Now, guys, the bad dream I had, it's probably, I hope it's going to be the last bad dream I had. Guys, I dreamt that I went back to third grade. Uh, in third grade, in elementary school, in third grade, I was treated horribly by the homeroom teacher. The homeroom teacher treated me horribly. I was a student in her classroom. I was waiting for my lunch, which was late. Some teachers took me to the gym to watch a puppet show, and I said, this is not going to help keep my take my mind off my late lunch. And a little later, after I went out for a walk, the teacher came back and took me back to the gym and said, let's watch it and be nice. Guys, let me just say something. I did not like being in third grade. In fact, I didn't like being in all grades in school. I'm not a huge school lover. In third grade, the homeroom teacher was nice to me from the beginning. But then sometimes she started being very rude and disrespectful to me. This one time, I was waiting for my lunch. I was, I was, I had pizza sent to my school. And it was running late. And the homeroom teacher completely yelled at me for no reason over my lunch being late. And I felt hurt after she yelled at me. And when my lunch finally arrived, I didn't talk to her for the rest of the day. And another time, when I was reading, 
When it was reading time in class, there was a fly flying around me buzzing. I waved my hand to shoot away, and the teacher, who was a little S-N-I-P-P-Y, which she was, when she saw me waving my arm trying to make the fly leave me alone, she said, Stop, Jake! Read your book! And I looked at her angrily. And that's not all. One time when I needed to take a mental health day and I came back to school the next day, we were working on a paper and I raised my hand and she rudely said, yeah, you weren't here yesterday. And this one time on this day when I didn't go to school because of a snowstorm, when I came back the next day, she asked, where were you, Jake? Well, she didn't say it in a rude way. I think she just blamed me for the snowstorm. Or accused me. As you might want to say. Accused me. Yeah. And one time when I accidentally slipped on the ice when we were going in after recess, she thought I did something very inappropriate, which I'm not going to say. Because you should never say something inappropriate and put it on YouTube. She literally accused me. And one time at circle, when we were having circle time and a kid in my class were showing some pictures from his vacation... When I was looking at the pictures, she said something rude to me, which I'm not going to tell you what she said. And that's not all, guys. That is not all. One time when I was working on a project... I was making a firehouse, uh, no, a fire truck out of a box. I didn't sleep very good that one night. And when I had a hard time staying awake, she threatened if I fall asleep, she's going to do something which I'm not going to tell you. And I gave her a very angry look. And she asked if I wanted to say something. And... I just walked away without saying a word. <sighs> yeah, the, the EA teacher, she was nice, guys. My third grade EA teacher, she was nice, but my homeroom teacher was not. Sometimes she was, sometimes she wasn't. And there was this one time when she made me angry. She made me change tables and without telling me, and that made me very angry. And at lunch when I was eating, I gave her a very angry look because I was very disappointed in her. And you should tell someone, you should tell something when you're, when you do something, you should let someone know. I'm sorry if you saw my hand, guys. I apologize for that. My, my third grade homeroom teacher, the EA was nice, but the homeroom teacher, she was not. And... I did not like the way she treated me sometimes. She was sometimes bossy. She was sometimes S-N-I-P-P-Y. She was sometimes rude.
she, well, she is my favorite teacher on my favorite teachers list, but I didn't like it when she was rude to me at all. And whenever she was rude or S-N-I-P-P-Y or bossy to me, I gave her these angry faces. Yeah, so, moral of the story. Guys, if a teacher at school is rude to you or says something aggressive or says something that hurts your feelings, tell your parents, tell your principals, and they can handle it. So, remember my advice. I'll say it again, if you didn't hear what I said. Guys, if a teacher is rude to you, or says something that hurts your feelings, or says something aggressive, or threatening, talk to your parents, or talk to your principal. They can help you. And don't call the police. The, it's true, the police can help serve and protect you, but they can't deal with rude teachers. So, always tell your parents or your principal if a teacher is rude or, or mean to you guys. And don't call the police. The police can't do anything, and you can get in trouble if you call the police. So, don't call the police. Tell your parents, tell your principals if a teacher is rude or says something mean to you or hurts your feelings. Don't call the police. Tell your parents, tell your principal. Anyway, yeah. I hope that will be my last bad dream that I had, guys. Third grade, been there, done that. And again, I cannot wait until summer comes back. And, well, I know that spring comes before summer. And guys, the reason why I can't wait for spring is because in spring, that's when the snow goes away and when winter ends and... That's when the snow turns the ground into mud and the butterflies come back, the birds come back, the animals wake up from hibernating the whole winter. But most of all, that's when the weather gets warm. And that's when spring break starts. And when spring break comes, that's when you guys are out of school for a week. Except, guys, when I was in school, I wish that spring break wasn't just one week off. I wish it was two weeks off instead of one. Because, guys, if you remember from last year, I spent all spring break working on a Thomas and Friends movie set for action. Check it out if you haven't seen it. A movie I did last year. You guys probably remember it. Thomas and Friends set for action.
Also, guys, I still can't decide whether when to do um the My Little Pony movie, my version. The trailer did say in summer, true, but... I'll either do it in spring or summer. Because, guys, I still have some work to catch up. I mean, I have to decide whether to go to Florida. And I plan on going to Old Orchard this summer. And I still have to make the pros for the next Muppet movie. So, um, yeah. So, either I'll do the My Little Pony movie in spring or, um, summer. And I have to decide when, when to go and visit my high school. But, anyway, guys, I've got nothing else to tell you. I'll probably not get the chance to do Mickey Mouse Clubhouse tomorrow, but maybe I'll get the chance to review some toys that I never got to do. Because it has been, like... Almost two months since my last Ertl Thomas and Friends toy review video. And it has been like a while since my last Scooby Doo toy review video. And yeah. It has been a long time since my last Muppet Toy Review video. So... Anyway, guys. Like I said, I will talk to you tomorrow. And I'll try and review those toys... Tomorrow. So until then, as always, you know what to do. Remember to leave likes on my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jake's TV and Jake Peter Landers. Check out my community page. Don't be shy to comment on my pictures. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. So talk to you then. Bye, guys.